talking video today because I don't know. My biggest fan. Hello. Sit. So Howie and I are going to discuss insomnia. I love you too. I wanted to talk about a topic that I probably have never, like I've mentioned it to you guys, but I've never really like fully discussed it. And for those of you guys who are insomniacs, yeah. Woo. So I wanted to talk about insomnia because this could probably prevent somebody from, you know, jumping off a cliff. I didn't do any, you know, technical research on this. This is just all from personal experience. So for those of you guys who are doctors or psychologists and, you know, surgeons, well, at least some of us think we are. So I made some notes in order just so I'm not all over the place. Okay, so the first thing is what is insomnia? Okay, so insomnia is a sleep disorder. It's when you have trouble getting to sleep or staying asleep. There's actually two forms of insomnia. There's chronic insomnia and there's temporary insomnia. Like for me, I'm going on day seven without sleeping at all. And I'm surprised I have like energy. And insomnia doesn't mean that, oh, I didn't sleep last time my boyfriend and I broke up. No, that is called depression. <laughs> the form of insomnia that I, I've had insomnia for the past like two years. You know, it's, it's like, it's been a part of my life for so long that it's just me. My insomnia, I would say somewhere in the middle of chronic and temporary. So for those of you guys who are having insomnia problems, and ask yourself this, do you have trouble getting to sleep or staying asleep? How many days have you not slept? How do you get insomnia? Well, you get insomnia in so many different ways. You know, people get insomnia when you're like stressed out, going through a divorce, you know, you've lost a leg, one direction is splitting up. There's just so many different ways you can get insomnia. Like you can get insomnia if you have anxiety or depression. Like for me, it's more psychological. I'm such a worry work. I worry about everything. Like I worry about what's gonna happen in like 98 days. I've always been the type of person that worries a lot and I do it to myself. So I'm always awake at night just thinking about when is the sky gonna fall? It's probably one of my biggest pet peeves about myself is that I worry a lot and I can't shake it off. I think I started to get really bad um, insomnia when two years ago when you know I was on Prozac. <laughs> I used to get chronic insomnia when I had like panic attacks, but I really get panic attacks anymore. Well, the other day I had a major panic attack, but but it was because somebody I cared about pissed me off. Sometimes for me when I get angry, I like cry for no reason. I hate <laughs> This dog had no problem sleeping. So yeah, you can get insomnia pretty much from anything. You know, the biggest tool in your face is your brain. Okay, so next question. Now we're talking. It's just kind of like you just get extremely tired all the time. You're either fatigued, like you feel like you're pregnant and, and you get like sporadic like mood swings. Like this whole week I've had like no sleep whatsoever and I've had a couple of mood swings here and there, and the boyfriend usually gets the wrath of it. <laughs> You'll get mood swings and little things just bother the shit out of you. The toilet paper rolls from underneath, freak out. When you don't get sleep, it, it you know it affects everything about you. It affects you physically, it affects you mentally, emotionally. Your energy is just completely depleted, and you get you know major eye circles. I really tried to make my eyes not look so tired. You know, insomnia affects people in different ways. You know, you you start to look haggard. Your concentration becomes less and less because. You know, you can't think. How do I deal with my insomnia? I break shit. <laughs> no, I, 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 I just deal with it. I'm so used to it that it's just, you know, whatever. I've actually seen a hypnotherapist. Um, if you guys have never seen a hypnosis or a hypnotist or whatever, I used to see a hypnotherapist where she would hypnotize me. And I think I was hypnotized. I mean, I don't know. She was just like really boring. So her talking made me fall asleep. When I went to a hypnotist, kind of bullshit but not really she hypnotized me to be able to get some sleep at night it kind of worked but sometimes when you force your mind to like okay it better work it better work it doesn't work the therapist would you know come to my house and I would like put candles just to make it look romantic for myself and she'd hypnotize me right on my couch for about an hour or so but I fired her she was too expensive <laughs> I tried it all, but it don't work. It really don't work. You can age your insomnia in many different ways. Like you can do physical activity, you can work out just before you're going to sleep. It might help because you know, you're already tired. So making yourself more tired could give you a chance to just fall asleep. You have to make your room dark and you have to have no TV. You know, they said that your bedroom is only should be used for two things sleep and sex um there's also a magic little pill called benadryl you know like when you're sick and you take a benadryl and you get really like 
it makes you really drowsy. But for me, I don't rely on like, you know, sleeping pills or any of that because A, I don't even like medication. And two, I get scared to take like, you know, medication or sleeping pills because what if I never wake up? When I had really bad anxiety, I used to take um, like this pill and it would make me fall asleep. But I want to be able to deal things from the inside out rather than, you know, have a remedy for me. Um, you can also, you know, do a little puff puff Mary Joanna. Lately, I've been trying to meditate for like five minutes is when you take like Meditation is just taking deep breaths from like your toe all the way to your head. Um, I don't know There's so many different ways you can aid Insomnia, you know, you can count sheep at night You can stare at the ceiling fan or you can watch a boring beauty guru on YouTube I have trouble falling asleep like I can't like shut my brain off for me if I get like two to three hours of sleep I'm good I don't know, I think once you have insomnia, it comes on and off, on and off in your life. You know, the worst part about having insomnia is I'm like an emotional wreck. I get really mean to my boyfriend. So yeah, that is my insomnia video. That is something that I battle with, insomnia. Anyways guys, if you have any more questions, feel free to ask me on my Facebook at Hey Jermaine. I also have a new blog post at HeyJermaine.com. Anyways, I will see you guys. Protect your cookie. <laughs>